Hi everyone, this is Joshua Ryder again. And in the last video, I taught you how to create a membership site in under 60 seconds. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to easily upload content and create courses by using Value Add-on. Now, before I do that, I want you to understand the types of content you can add into Value Add-on. There's two types. There's what we call blog posts, which are single page content that is uh, categorized. Now, this is great for uh, publishing updates, giving out downloads, publishing interviews. It's good for content that doesn't need to be watched in any particular order. It is much different than our courses. Our courses are meant for step-by-step -step content that is sequenced where user completion is tracked. This is where Value Add-on really shines. Our course content, which I'm gonna show you uh, just after this, is content that once again was meant to be viewed in order from step one to step 100. It is broken down by sections and lessons, and you can drag and drop content around, you can put it in any order that you wish, and then when the visitor actually views that content, they can see where they left off, they can see which lesson they're meant to be viewing next, and which lessons they've already watched. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're back and we're logged into the Value Add-on Admin panel. Here's a list of all my membership sites that I've created and I can easily manage them all with one click. And before I continue, I wanna just let you guys know the nice thing about this is, is if you are somebody who builds membership sites for clients, what you can do is you can build a membership site in Value Add-on and then you can create a site owner login just for that membership site. And you can give that login to your client or whoever you're building the membership site for, and that login will not interfere with the rest of your account. They will only have access to the, uh, the membership site that you assign them to. So that's a very helpful feature. So with that said, let's go ahead and click Manage on the site that we built yesterday. Okay, so now to add content, all we have to do is we just click on the Add Content to Your Membership Site link right here. This will take us into our content editor and we can either add a blog post or we can uh, create a new course. Now for this example and to keep this video short, I'm just gonna create a new course for this example. So let's click on the button that says create new course and we're gonna give this course a name. So I'm gonna call this one Magic Tricks. We're gonna give it a course description. Learn how to do some simple magic tricks, okay. Now we have some other optional settings on here, like drip content. We can actually choose to drip this entire course out, um, or we can drip the individual lessons, which I will show you later. The next option is to upload a thumbnail image. So I'm gonna upload a thumbnail image, and then we have some more custom settings down here. This just tells uh, the system if you wanna allow um, downloads or not. I'll talk more about that later. So let's click Create Course. Okay, so now our course is created, but it's blank. We need to add some lessons and some sections. So first things first, I always add a section first. A section is just a break within the lessons. Uh, we're gonna call this one Getting Started. Okay, so there's our first section. Now let's add a lesson. A lesson is where we actually upload and add the content. Now we have three types of content we support, our text and HTML, our audio-based content, and our video-based content. So for this example, I'm gonna do a video-based content. I'm gonna give it a title. Um, and let's see, which do I wanna call this? We'll call this Card Trick. Give it a very uh, quick summary. Learn how to do a cool card trick. Okay, now we have some other options. We can publish this um, lesson in the future and basically what that does is it doesn't make this post or lesson available until a certain date in the future. If a visitor tries to view it, they will see a countdown timer until this uh, lesson is ready. Or you can drip this content out. So if we choose five days, that means after a user registers, they'll have to wait five days before they can gain access to this content. But for this example, I'm going to leave both of those blank. Um, and we're not going to drip or publish this content in the future. We're going to have it available right away. We can add some tags. So we'll call this one card tricks, magic tricks. And there's a few tags, these are all optional. Now it's time to upload our files. So let's go ahead and upload our card trick. Very simple, with value add-on we host all of your files. We actually re-render all of your video and audio files so they're playable on all devices. So you can basically upload um, any video or audio file to our system. It doesn't matter what the file extension is. It doesn't matter how big it is. Um, currently we uh, allow file uploads up to two gigabytes in size. And then we send those through our rendering engine. It will re-render it. It will compress it to high definition and low definition formats. It will send it to Amazon S3 for you, and then it will put it in your own video player for you, and it's all done automatically and within seconds. So now that we've done that, all we gotta do is uh, 
press publish lesson. Now there is one more optional feature that we can choose is we can allow people to download this file or not download this file. Totally up to you. But we're gonna allow people to download it because I like giving people access to my content. So we will press publish lesson and that's it. Our first uh, lesson has been published. Now let's go ahead and, and repeat that process and uh, we'll do it a few more times. So for this example, I'm gonna upload the, uh, the file first this time. We're gonna do the coin through the table video. While that's uploading, I'm gonna switch it to video and I'm gonna give it a title. Coin through table. Learn how to pass a coin through the table. And I'm just gonna rush through this. Since you've already seen me do it, I'm just gonna keep all the options basic. I'm gonna hit publish and I'm gonna do that one more time. But let's do one more lesson just so you have a good idea of what kind of content or how easy it is to put content in here. We're gonna do the magic dollar trick. That's a good one. Okay. As you can see, anybody can do this. This is all very simple. You don't have to be a genius to do this. Um, anybody can be taught to do this. And for this one, let's go ahead and drip this content out. We're gonna drip this content five days after the user registers. Let's go ahead and put in some more tags. The tags are optional. Once again, you don't need to do the tags, but it helps people view your content and see what it's, uh, what it's about. And we're gonna hit publish lesson. And one of the really cool things is after you publish a lesson, you can drag and drop your lessons and put them in any order that you want simply by clicking and dragging on the lesson. You can also drag the sections, put the sections wherever you want. Uh, what this does is it makes it really cool to create and outline your content. If you're confused on which lesson should be in front of the other, what I tell people is just take all your knowledge and do a brain dump. Put it all into individual lessons, dump it into value add-on, and then go through it individually and just drag and drop it into the right order. You know, think and ask yourself, if I was going through this content, which lesson would I want to be put in front of the, uh, the uh, previous one? So it's a really simple way to drag and drop and organize your content. And when you drag and drop your content, the system will automatically update the numbering system for all your lessons and it will number them correctly. Number one, number two, number three. So if I take this one and I move it up to the number one spot, now the system within seconds has just numbered that one, number one, and this one's number two, and this one's number three. Very, very simple, drag and drop, anybody can do it. Okay, so here is our entire course. It has three lessons and a section. The last lesson is set to be auto-published after five days. So now let's go ahead and preview this. To preview your content, all you gotta do is click on this top link way up here that says preview curriculum. Here we go, here's our content that we just added. Here's the cool thing about this. It says up here, you've completed zero out of three lessons. So it's telling the user which lessons they've completed and it's also giving them a progress bar with a completion percentage. So if you can see that, it says 0%. We haven't watched any of this content. And if I scroll down, I can see we have lesson one card trick, lesson two coin through table, and lesson three the magic dollar trick. And then we have little stars next to each one of these. Um, as your visitors are going through your content, they can favorite your content or they can view your lessons. So when they click view lesson, this is going to take them into your first lesson. This is video based content, so we're going to have a video player that's going to show up here in a few seconds. Here it is. And here's your video. The user can press play and they can begin to watch that video. Here's the tags we've added. Here's the descriptions. If we go in the downloads tab, the users can download this lection. And here's what's very nice and unique about Value Add-on is we're one of the only companies that extract just the audio out of your video and allow your visitors to download just the audio portion. We found out that people love to just listen to the audio on their way to work, um, when they were jogging. They wanted to learn on the go, so we gave them that ability and you can disable this in the back end if you want but we found out that your visitors will love the ability to just download the audio portion put that on their phones or their, their mp3 players and uh, listen that way and then also your visitors can take notes as they're going through your content they can type in notes as they're watching your videos or listening to your audio content and they can save those notes for later so that's how simple it is to add content into value add-on let me just press play and give you a little example of what the videos look like so once I do this, this video is going to start playing. He wants to take part. Here it is. It. So it's a high definition it. video. It's already been rendered. We have high res and low res formats for this video. So if a user has a very slow internet connection, like I do right now, unfortunately, I'm traveling, the user can switch to a low definition for, uh, format and it will stream faster. And then once this video is watched to Just a certain like percentage, it's actually marked as completed. So if we click next, We'll go to your next lesson in the process and we'll continue um, watching your content. Now, let me just show you one more thing. Let's go back to your content tab. 
Actually, let me go home. So here is that course we created. There's the thumbnail image that we uploaded. And now look at what it says. It says it's telling me that I've completed one out of three. So it's actually tracking my completion. And if I click view course, I go back to the page we were just on. And now look, I'm 33% complete through this course. This is a game changer for teaching people how to, or, or I'm sorry, this is a game changer for um, teaching people online. You know, one of the biggest issues and problems that we see is People build membership sites, they upload a whole bunch of great content, but their visitors and their students get confused because they forget where they left off. They don't know what video they're on, what audio lesson, what page they viewed last. They log in uh, to the membership sites through their phone and their tablet and their PCs, and they totally get lost. And what that does is it distracts them from going through the rest of your course. So this has been a proven way to get people to, to go through more of your course content watch more of your videos, listen to more of your audios, and go through more of your instructional training, which is really what we want them to do. We, we want your students to go through more of your content. The more content they go through, the better they are at uh, learning from you and they're gonna you know it's just a better all over experience for them so we've learned that these this course completion tracking is huge when you're trying to deliver an online course we are one of the uh, very few companies that does this and secondly as a site owner you can get access to this data so you can actually pull up data on your students in your admin control panel and you can see who's going through your content and how far along um, of the content they've gone through that's very very cool so that's how easy it is to add content into value add-on we support all types of content whether it's text-based content HTML content you can embed third-party um, you know embeds into your content you can upload videos you can upload audios you can upload attachments PDFs workbooks you name it you can do it all through value add-on and uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to integrate our built-in shopping cart and set up pricing plans literally within minutes so you can begin to charge for your content. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Okay, so before I end this video, I had some FAQs. Uh, the first question was, is, do you limit the amount of courses that can be created? The answer is no. And you know what's weird is, I would say 90% of our competitors limit the amount of courses that people can create with their membership systems. And we decided not to do that. We do not want to limit your content creation in any form. You can create one course or a thousand courses with value add-on. There is no limit whatsoever. Second question was, do you limit the amount of videos uploaded? And unlike others, no, we do not. Once again, we do not want to limit your ability to create good, awesome content. So there is no limit to the amount of lessons and video and audio content that you upload into Value Add-on. And uh, three, can you offer, kind of forgot a word there, can you offer different prices for the same course? Yes, you can. Forgot another word there. See, that's what happens when I uh, create these videos on the go. <laughs> um, that will be coming in our next video. Uh, a, something that makes us very different is we give you a built-in shopping cart that allows you to create multiple price points for the same courses, for a group of courses, for a whole bunch of different stuff. You literally have unlimited freedom on how you charge for your content. And unlike our competitors, we allow you to charge different prices for the same exact course. That means you can give people order links um, for the same course that charges one rate, you can give this guy another price, you can give this guy maybe a free trial to that course, you can give this person a free sign up to that course, and I'm going to show you all that in the next video. So we give you total freedom to do a lot of different stuff with your value on an account. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.